Hello again. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to secure your UAC user account control a little bit more using the local security policy editor. Okay, so we go into secpol.msc. Okay, click on that. That brings it up over here. Then we go into local policy, security options. All the way at the bottom, you'll see the user account control options. Okay, fortunately, most of them are enabled. Okay, now if you really, really want to make it a little bit more secure, okay, you have over here user account control behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators in admin. Okay, you might want to actually make it this one, which basically also prompts you to enter in a password as well once you're in the UAC prompt, even if you're admin. Okay, so that makes it just a little bit more secure, password all the time. Okay, you might also want to go, this is ultra, ultra secure. Okay, but this is basically gonna cause you some problems if you're running other software that is not signed. Okay. Only elevate executables that are signed and validated. So basically, all the programs that you're trying to run or install need to be signed and also validated. Okay? So if they're not signed by a proper certificate authority, shall we say, thought or very signed, for example, it will not work. Okay? If you really want to go ultra secure, that's nice. Lock it down, but make sure you know that all your programs are signed. Okay, that's quite a nice one. Okay, make sure that you have them all enabled all the way over here. Okay, that's the main thing. Okay, run all administrators in admin approval mode. That's quite nice. Okay, switch to the secure desktop when prompting for elevation. This is actually quite important. Okay, make sure that's enabled. Basically, when you get that prompt, Okay, it's actually in that secure desktop, which is a slightly different kind of like a desktop that only that one program has access to. Other programs running in the background cannot gain access to it. Okay, so this is quite nice. Okay, make sure that's enabled. Okay, and then if we have a quick look. So, sorry, whoops. For example, anything that requires the UAC. User account control, okay, click on that and see it's asking for a password as well. So that's just made everything a little bit more secure. Hopefully, this helps. Thank you for watching.